Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Daily Wrap for what was Friday, the 10th of March, 2023. A great streaming day and a big flip from yesterday, because you know the first half of yesterday was very, very stressful, and quite frankly, uh, you know, playing a game that I don't really like that much in Wolong doesn't really translate that well to enjoyment for me. It does translate to enjoyment for some people who watch, but not for me. Today was the opposite. Today was chill day. On the Level 1 podcast today, <clears throat> excuse me, we talked and chilled. We had Q&A, uh, you know, talked a little bit about the upcoming schedule. You know, I talked a little bit more about my side-scrollers podcast appearance and things coming up and all kinds of stuff. And then ample opportunity to basically field your questions, okay? First stream of gameplay was Hogwarts Legacy, where we went through the vast majority of the meat of the missions in the third season or winter season of the game. We're now up to the point where we can actually just do the third trial, finish that season, and move on to the fourth and final part of the game. Uh, but there's one side quest left uh, to do before we do that. So, great progress, and we're making really good time in this game. <clears throat> Considering that we're heading into the final season, you would think maybe another two, three streams to finish it. So, that's great. Great progress there. Um, and then on the late stream tonight, Oblivion. Uh, and Oblivion was great. We actually did tons of Thieves Guild questing. One of the quests was very lengthy and challenging. We found some great loot. We actually fenced a ton of items. I basically went, no exaggeration, from the time that I've been doing this Thieves Guild quest, I went from having like one to 2,000 gold to over 13,000. So Thieves Guild is very profitable. Uh, all day long, people were engaged. People were supportive. People were very nice and generous. It was a great stream. And by the way, <clears throat> here's the opposite of the experience I get when I'm playing Wolong, okay? Was the attendance today sky high? No, it was not. I would say on, you know, Hogwarts, we probably had two to 300, and at some points we even had less than 200 viewers. For Oblivion, we probably had, again, two to 300, and at some points, less than 200 viewers. But everyone was engaged. Everyone was talking to me. We were all having a great, chill time. Again, support was good today. So this is the opposite of playing Wolong, where on Wolong, we get a ridiculous amount of viewers, but I'm playing an annoying game that I'm not enjoying, and I don't have fun. Do you see the difference? And the thing is, if anything, what you can see here is that both can be supportive of this business. You can have days where it's stressful, and I don't like the game, but people will come out and, and, and want that content, and then you can have days that are completely chill and laid back like today, and that's good. Because we have that variety, it allows me to do more stuff. Admittedly, if all I was doing right now was playing War Long every day, I probably would have quit. But because we're alternating, because there's balance, it's allowing me to do more. And I'm really enjoying doing more right now, okay? So thank you to anyone who was here live for the streams today. If you happen to be watching said content overnight as well here on DSP Gaming, enjoy the on-demand fun, okay? Now, one quick update in regards to a video I uploaded to DSP Reacts last night, okay? So last night, <clears throat> I uploaded my review of Joker the 2019 Joaquin Phoenix movie. That video, as of right now, has just about 1,600 views and climbing in just about 24 hours. That is the most watched video on DSP Reacts all week. That topped the Walking, excuse me, The Last of Us review. That topped every single episode of DSP versus the internet. So, I guess what you're trying to tell me is that you like the reviews that I'm doing. Okay, I'm happy about that because I want to do more. I told everyone on the podcast this morning, my goal moving forward will be once I finish reviewing The Last of Us this coming Monday night because the final episode Sunday. So I'll do <clears throat> an episode nine review and then series summary review this coming Monday night. Here's what I would like to do. I would always like to be watching a series of shows, like a TV show and a movie. So every week, maybe I could put out two reviews for you. One day a week will be the TV series review, and one day a week will be the movie review, okay? Uh, if I'm watching a series, maybe what I could do is group it together, maybe review like two episodes in one one go or something like that, you know? Um, we'll see. It also will depend on how much time I have and how much I, I, I watch in one week. But if you guys are outright telling me, look, we're really enjoying this review style stuff, I am all for it. I would love to keep making that style of content for you over on DSP React, Okay. So, thank you for that. Anyone who saw that Joker review, thank you. And if you continue to watch it, you know, leaving comments, liking that video would help tremendously for that channel. I am trying, obviously, to get more attention on DSP Reacts. Thank you for that. Okay? Speaking of DSP Reacts, this is your final chance, if you are a channel member over there, to post up your nominations for the show tomorrow, DSP versus the Internet, the live stream that I do once a week. 
I am actually literally going to make the list of videos in moments. I'm going to finish recording this, get the videos uploading, head over to DSP React, make the playlist for tomorrow. So if you didn't post up yet, whew, you waited too long. Uh, I'll do my best, but if you know you post overnight, there's no guarantee you're going to be on the show tomorrow. All right. So please post up in the community thread over there if you have not yet. This is your opportunity to do so. All right. So what's coming up tomorrow? Number one. The Level 1 Podcast in the morning. I honestly have no clue what we'll talk about. Depends on what happens. Maybe there'll be some game news or something to discuss. Okay? Then, when the podcast is over, we're leaving DSP Gaming. We're heading over to DSP Reacts at 12.45 p.m. Pacific Time. And at that point, I'm doing DSP Reacts for three hours. A three-hour react stream of the things that everyone has nominated who are, you know, the members over there. Once that's done, then we take a break. And then tomorrow night on the late stream, 6.45 p.m. Pacific Time, right here on DSP Gaming again... Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer. Yes, that is right. Two hours of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer fun. I've been having fun the two times i played this previously. We're going to do a one-off night stream of it. I hope you'll show up, watch, and support that stream if you can, considering it is the only gameplay I'll be doing here on the channel tomorrow. Okay? Um, I'm just trying to think if there's any odds and ends that I forgot. It seems like I've covered them all. Oh, that's right. One big reminder. This coming Sunday, here in the United States... We're changing our clocks. Yes, it's daylight saving time yet again. And because of this, our clocks are moving one hour forward. That means starting this Sunday, the 12th, all of my streams will start one hour earlier. Okay? Just to forewarn everyone. I don't want anyone to be late because Sunday is Wolong. And I don't want people to miss the first hour of Wolong. All right, guys? Okay. Thank you all. Great streaming day. I had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night. See you tomorrow for some React fun. Peace out.